and welcome to a brand new smartwatch review. Today we have the Let's Fit EW1 smartwatch. So let's take this guy out of the box. It's a beautiful looking smartwatch. A uh, very classic look to it, and it's going to look very good on the wrist, I think. Peel that protective cover off there and see if this has any juice in it out of the box. Let's see what else is in the box. We have a setup sheet, uh, how to make blood oxygen saturation measurements. This does SPO2. Well, here's the quick start guide, the user manual. Oh, look, here's the user manual. It's an actual real manual with lots of pages and lots of information. So this is awesome. Most Smartwatches don't do this, so this is really nice to get a full, complete manual. The charging cable looks like it might uh, just be a standard magnetic charging cable. Uh, let's take a look here. Yep, it's got the, the magnetic settings on the back, so that will just click in place and charge this guy up. So if you've seen any of my fitness tracker and smartwatch reviews, you know I'm going to charge this up wear it for a few days, maybe a week, and then come back with my full review. If you've not seen any of my reviews yet, then go to my main channel page and then look at my smartwatch and fitness tracker uh, reviews playlist. So we'll uh, get this guy going and I'll come back with my full review. So as we get into the functions of the watch, I've worn this for a few days here now and I've paid for this with my own money. It will strike you as looking similar to a watch that begins with an eye, and actually if you put it right next to the Amazfit BIP, they look just about identical. The Let's Fit EW1, however, has a slightly larger screen. So if you scroll down, you get your text messages. If you swipe up, it gets you into some various modes here. There's a nighttime mode, a sleep mode, um, do not disturb night mode this is a uh, raise your wrist to get the display to turn on i usually turn that off to conserve battery and then there's some settings here you can change your watch face on this top menu and it gives you three to choose from okay and those are your three i like this one the best uh, if we go back into those settings you have your brightness adjustment and it goes in 20 percent increment so there's 20 percent it goes 40, 60, 80, 100. I'll leave it at 100 for the sake of the camera here. Um, nice bright display, big, easy to read. Scream timeout duration. You've got a few options here up to, uh, oh boy, I haven't even looked at this, up to 20 seconds. That's once this green light comes on, how long do you want it to stay on? Again, I usually crank that way down to save battery time. Power saving mode, you can power off, you can restart, factory reset, uh, there you go. As you go back to the main screen by pushing the button, if you scroll to the right, you can see your training days. And I'll show you this and then go into the software to show you what that looks like. But this is where you would go into your training modes and tell it what activity you're going to do. Now, this does not have GPS built in, so if you're doing an outdoor activity, um, and you want GPS tracks, you're going to have to pair it with your phone, connect the watch to the Let's Fit app, and that's the app it uses, and then go do your activity. Otherwise, this will just track your duration and heart rate, okay? So various modes here, and let's run through those. You've got outdoor walking, others, uh, outdoor running, indoor running, indoor walking, hiking, outdoor cycling, indoor cycling, cricket, pool swimming, open water swimming, yoga, rowing machine, elliptical machine, and that's it. So go back to the main screen. Your blood oxygen saturation, I like this feature, and I'll flip it over here in a minute and show you this incorporates not only uh, the green diodes, but a red diode for this measurement. Uh, you just press it, and it'll take your blood oxygen saturation measurement, and in my mind, this is what sets this kind of in a, an upper tier of the budget end of the market is the ability to get that blood oxygen saturation measurement. I'm at 98% here. You can do your heart rate on demand or it will automatically track it during uh, activities and throughout the day. You can get your summary for today. Now I've been up since five this morning at my desk and uh, I obviously haven't taken too many steps yet. But it gives you your summary of today. Um, some breathing exercises, countdown timer, stopwatch, you can set alarms so this will buzz. 
your music controller that controls the music on your phone uh, no, this is not an mp3 player and then again back to settings um, and you know that's about it basic functionality it's a basic smartwatch uh, it will give you messages if you're paired uh, via Bluetooth um, it will send your messages over again you have to be uh, attached to the tether to the phone tether to the app and then it'll push uh, push your uh, any messages through to your watch so let's get into the software so here you go the app again is called the let's fit app and it lets you go back and look at your various uh, let's say heart rate you can scroll back uh, by the day and see what your heart rate has been doing your minimum your re minimum which is your resting your maximum during exercise you can go back through those days and see everything you've done there you can look at your calorie burn, your distance gone uh, by day. And again, if I scroll back through the days here, you can see how many miles I've done on previous days. Keeps track of all of that. Keeps track of your training. Here's the outdoor walk I did yesterday. And like I said, it went tethered to your phone, uh, connected to the app with location services turned on. It will give you your map so you can see and zoom in on the details of that's the hike i did on some mountain bike trails yesterday gives you your statistics and uh this is a gym workout i did the other day and this will keep track of my continuous heart rate and you know the length of time i engaged in the gym and an estimate of kilocalorie burn and if you scroll down uh, from that continuous heart rate it will tell you what heart rate zones you were in during your training and over the course of that training give you your uh, calorie burn so pretty neat pretty comprehensive um, if i go back to the main page here i can go and analyze my sleep it gives me my percent uh, deep sleep versus light sleep and again you can scroll back through the days and see uh, what your sleep is doing over time overall a pretty intuitive app I like it it's nice and clean um, you know you can get into settings and change some you know uh, basic settings like you would any other app um, I like it it's easy to use it seems to connect well it keeps connectivity um, gives you pr some really good information and here I'll come back to the watch itself and let's go back to this uh, SPO2 measurement. Let's go ahead and engage that and you'll see the red diode come on. Otherwise, for the rest of the things, it's using the green diode. Again, usually this is only found in some kind of higher end, more uh, feature packed products. So I really like that for SPO2. My bottom line is I'd say if you want basic functionality of a smartwatch, the ability to, to get uh, good sleep tracking, exercise tracking continuous heart rate and spo2 measurements um pretty good entry level smartwatch for the money i think it's a solid value i think um you you can't go wrong again this does not have gps only if it's tethered to your phone do you get location services and distance but i like it nice big display uh good form factor you know what to do like this video uh, if you have a question or would like to leave a comment even if it's, if it's just to say thanks leave that below in this video i'll drop a link to amazon where you can go check out all the details for yourself like this video subscribe to this channel if you would please i've got a lot of fitness tracker and smartwatch reviews on my playlist uh, on my youtube channel they're marked very clearly smartwatch and fitness tracker reviews so go check that out and let me know what products you'd like to see me review uh, if you click through to amazon and check it out or buy some things there that gives me a little piece of the pie through my affiliates account and that's what allows me to continue to bring these products to you both those clicks to amazon and also the action on this channel in terms of comments subscribers and like button so go ahead and do that otherwise come check me out at davethekayaker.com